It was a beautiful day when we started out this week. Our plan was to make it a quick trip and see how much work we could get done in a day. Little did we know what an emotional adventure was in store for us. You never know if the weather will cooperate with your plans. The day started out with a visit to one of our neighbors. They have a great view of our lot and the surrounding valley. One of the things that drew us out to this area are the amazing views. I love how quickly the terrain, views, and vistas can change within a short distance. I know it was hard to tell in the video, but so yeah, there were a bunch of monsoons this week, a lot of which means a lot of heavy, heavy rain. So it's interesting to see all the runoff, um, how it affected on the property, and like where we've been plowing the road into the property um, is a lot bumpier now. You can tell where the water really went up, you know, through <sighs> through the road and things. Um, which is good information to have. I mean, knowing which way the run runoff is, is a good thing. And then also the cows. You can tell there've been a lot of cows here because it smoothed everything out. And now we've got their deep footprints into the wet, um, the wet ground. So that's kind of fun. You have hoof prints over by your trailer. They were checking out the solar. They're hanging out in the shade, maybe. <laughs> Here at the ranch, we're pretty remote, right? So uh, the community of us that live out, or that live out here or have property out here have um, these radios that we can use to get hold of each other if we need to. Well, last week, Cade ran over one of them. So one of our radios does not work. So I am heading over to a neighbor here on the ranch, or out here in these ranches that um, to pick up a new radio so that we will have radios to communicate. <laughs> and I'm trying to do it before the rain hits because the rain clouds are coming. The roads get very slippery when they're wet. So we are rushing, racing mother or mother nature. Right, just picked up my new radio. Now we're headed back to rescue Cade because the clouds that direction are dark. And when I was over there picking up my radio, the thunder is rolling. So we're headed back and we'll see if it's raining over there or not. Or hopefully the storm will just kind of pass over us real quick and clear up. We'll see. Oh man, that looks pretty dark. You get dumped on. Just saw lightning. The 
roads aren't going to be too muddy, and hopefully Kate is not stranded on our property. Ooh. It's raining. I was gonna do this cute little video, show you our food, but we are gonna make our food in the car now. It's raining hard. Yikes! Making a run for it. A river right there. One with thousand, two with thousand. Okay. Ooh. We were waiting for the rain to let up a little bit. And then we're like, oh. All right, I'm here with my sister-in-law, Lari, and we're super glad you had a cabin this weekend. Yes, because it's got an awesome view. Got an awesome view, and um, you saved us from the rain. I just made you walk <laughs> through puddles first. That's right. <laughs> it was pretty wet. <laughs> Now that the storm has passed and the roads have dried out a little bit, we wanted to run back over to our lot and see how it was impacted by all the rain. Even though the roads do get slippery out here when they're wet, one of the good things about it is that it does dry out pretty quickly. It looks like we had a lot of water come through the culvert. On the outlet side, there's now about a foot drop where it's washed away a lot of the sand. The baby! He's just a baby! Hi, little guy. He looks a little angry. You've been grabbed, would you be angry? Yeah. He's trying. Help me, help me. I must get out of here, but how? Hi. Hi, you little baby. You're gonna, you're gonna let him go, right? Yeah, we were just keeping him so we could show you. If you pick him up and look at him, he has angry eyes. Oh, he's so cute and little. Just a baby. Okay, where should I put him? Oh, we're in the brush. Okay, we're gonna release him. Release! Release the, the Kraken! <laughs> release the horny toad! <laughs> Turn around. Not up the sleeve. There we go. There bye you bye. go. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye. I sure like the access to our lot a lot better than this road up to Lari's. No kidding. Down that other road and back around. I mean, you've got that. 
that it's got more rock. lot and there's another storm rolling in and the last storm made the roads a little slippery and we slid off the road which is fine where we were at because it there was not a drop off but where we're at by her lot there's a drop off and now I'm freaking out because it's starting to rain again and we need to get off the mountain it's kind of scary all right ready keep us safe go slow are we going first? I guess we are. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, please be careful. This scares me like you have no idea. It's got a drop off, quite the drop off. Worry about that other side. Yeah. I need to stay out of the mud and this log because the mud's are just sliding. Yeah. Park somewhere and wait for it to dry out. Start to slide. Wait for the storm to pass.
Anxiety is through the roof in so many ways. Slipping off a mountain, getting hit by lightning. Oh. Look at all that runoff coming down the mountain. where the road washed south. I know, they're like, do you want to climb in? And I'm like, okay, I can't. Deep breaths. Deep breaths, not. I usually don't get panic attacks. Because it wasn't just the sliding, it was that, and then the lady, the thunder. Your traumatic. 
my childhood. Yeah, my PTSD. Childhood PTSD. for you. like it has been right now twice yet, can we? Oh, look how far it's washed out. Holy cow, the road is washed out. Gosh, look at that. I wish it stopped right here. I know, careful. Come over this way. by morning. by the pond. I think this is further down. So I'm, I'm, this must be new. Hey, Kurt or anybody else at headquarters can come in. Copy this, is Kurt. The boat is totally washed out. Cows are probably going to be coming back. They were trying to bring them up, but they're bringing them back to headquarters. Hopefully they can get back. Uh, we're going to head back up to cabin is where we were staying, but I don't think we can get out. Um, and once the water stops running, somebody's going to have to come look at it.
don't know if you can see it, but right there, that road up there, the cows are currently walking up it towards my lot. Silly cows. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We got up bright and early this morning after getting stuck up here at the cabin or at the, at the ranch. 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 Ranch and property. My sister's lot has a really good view to the east, so we're going to hurry go try and catch the sunrise, but we might be too late to catch it. I think we might be too late, but I think it'll still be pretty. Yeah, so. So we're going to hurry and run out there and hope, hope that the road is better this morning um, and dried out a little bit and not as muddy and slippy and slidey like yesterday. Or will freak out. Or I will freak out again. <laughs> right? Keep posted. I'm watching the road. Okay, so yesterday was supposed to be just a day trip. It turned into two because of the weather. Gosh, Mother Nature, God has a sense of humor because then he sent us this torrential downpour. We were sliding down the mountain that washed out the road. I had a mini panic attack and we ended up here with day number two. Thank goodness. 
Cade's sister was already up here this weekend with the cabin because otherwise we would have been stuck here on the mountain in our car overnight. Luckily, thank, thank goodness she had a cabin. So things we've learned this time, always pack more than you think you're gonna need. Meaning pack extra food and extra snacks, maybe pack an extra pair of clothes, um, extra batteries for your things if you need them, extra grass. Basically, the mountain is unpredictable. You may get stuck here. Okay, now we're racing the storm. Get off the mountain on day two so we hopefully don't get stuck here again. Pretty soon we'll get to the, where the road was washing out yesterday. We'll see if they have fixed it. They were working on it. We heard on the ranch radios this morning. I, hopefully we're gonna get over it before the uh, water starts flowing again over it. Okay, coming up to it. Is it still cold off? Hang on. So that whole half of the road got washed out. Okay, go. Yeah, we don't wanna get stuck on it, so just go. That whole half of the road is gone. Okay, so Kate was saying the culvert on the other side of the street, on his side, was full of mud clear up to the top. So the culvert underneath is probably totally blocked and filled up with mud, right? Which was making everything else flow up above it and washing out the road. At least it didn't wash out like Yeah. Probably going to take quite a bit of work to repair it. Anyway, so we get past that, now we're going to try and get off the rest of the mountain. 